So glaucoma is a disease that affects the connection between the eyeball and the brain. The eye and the brain are connected by a nerve, and that nerve is called the optic nerve. The optic nerve carries images from the eye to the brain in order for a patient to see. What glaucoma is, is when the eye pressure goes up and some other influencing factors, that nerve starts getting damaged. As the nerve gets damaged, it starts to cause blind spots in a patient's vision, and that's really the disease of glaucoma. The vision loss is permanent and irreversible. Patients who have glaucoma actually don't know they have glaucoma. Glaucoma tends to affect the peripheral vision first, and it happens so slowly over time that people just don't realize they're losing their vision. It also happens way out in the peripheral vision, so your mind is really good at filling in the gaps. The only way to know if you have glaucoma is to come in for an evaluation. And when I see a patient, the things that I look at are their risk factors for the disease, their clinical examination, and then usually some supportive testing to decide whether they have a problem or not. So everybody should be checked for glaucoma, but the highest risk patients are usually those who are above 45 years old and people who have a first or second degree relative who have the disease already. So if anybody in your family has elevated eye pressure or has glaucoma, then it's very, very important to be checked. The disease is hereditary and that's one of the strongest risk factors. Other people that are at higher risk for the disease are diabetics, those who are very nearsighted, people who take inhaled steroids or topical or oral steroids for other systemic conditions, and people who have had severe eye traumas are at the highest risk for the disease. Early diagnosis is the key to helping glaucoma patients because the vision loss is irreversible. You wanna identify it quickly and get a patient treated. Right now, drops, lasers, and surgery are the mainstay of treatment, and the purpose is of these treatments is to lower the intraocular pressure. Usually it takes one of these or a combination of these treatments in order to stabilize a patient. The vision loss that's already occurred is irreversible and the disease is not curable, but it can be managed and vision can be preserved. So patients who come in with cataracts, they usually tell me right off the bat that their vision no longer feels clear even with their glasses on. Other things that people mention is that their color vision feels washed out, they can't really see color as sharply as they did at one time. There can also be shadowing of images and people can see double. A lot of patients mention that they get night blind and when headlights come towards them, they feel like there are halos around the lights. All of those are symptoms of cataract. Really, most patients just come in and say that they're unsatisfied with the quality of their vision and they would like it to be better. And when they say that to me, along with some of these other symptoms, I know they're ready for cataract surgery.